Hello everybody, my name is Mikola and today I will show in details my pedal board. I will shortly describe every pedal, every effect and explain how do I use them. And yes, I have both metal zone in my pedal board. And later I will explain you why. So everything starts with Ibanez Tube Screamer Mini. On the most of my pedals I placed a foot switch top caps to never miss a stomp. Gain to the minimum tone and volume to about 2 o'clock. Tube Screamer creates a great rock and roll sound for a clean channel of my combo. And also it slightly compresses and boosts the sound of the guitar for a dirty channel. There left a free space where I put a box with peaks. The box is held with velcro, as all pedals, so my peaks are always in place and never can be lost. Near the Tube Screamer I have a foot switch for my Marshall combo. I use only channel switch so FX loop is always on. 90% of time I use this combination – Tube Screamer plus combo sound with built-in reverb. The next pedal, Tech 21 British, I use only for my second, not main, semi-hollow body guitar. That guitar has quiet muffled pickups, so this pedal helps me to obtain the modern sound. When I play my main guitar Gibson SG, this pedal is turned off. Next one – Metal Muff by Electro Harmonix. This pedal I use with a clean channel of my combo. The sound gets more similar to Black Sabbath. Boost is always on. And then guitar signal goes straight to the main input of the amp. I will commutate everything later. The next effects all go to FX loop of my Marshall combo. Line 6 Tombox Modeler M9 I use for tremolo, chorus and delay effects. And also as a tuner and looper. Plus, actually, you can find almost all popular guitar effects in it of a pretty good quality. After a processor I have a quite unusual pedal – Buffalo by Moen. It is a booster, equalizer and speaker simulator. When this pedal is turned off, it still works as a speaker simulator. Which is not a real full version speaker simulator, in my opinion. But when the sound comes through it, my combo with a small speaker sounds like a big guitar cabinet. As you see, I removed all knobs except one. It's an attenuator, which also works when the pedal is turned off. So I always keep a volume of my Marshall on maximum and use this knob for master volume. After all this, the signal goes to FX loop return. I use Harley Benton Power Plant Jr. as a power supply for all pedals except Line 6 processor, which has its own power supply. The last one on my pedal board is a Boss Metal Zone. Soon I will tell you why. Power Plant Junior can work with 5 pedals at once. There are 5 short and 5 long wires in a kit. Now let's make a commutation. Tube Screamer Mini into Tech 21 British, then into Metal Mouth, and then into the input of the amp. From FX loop send to line 6 M9. Then into Buffalo by Moen. And return the signal to Marshall. As you might have noticed, I did not plug the metal zone anywhere. It is just as an element of deco or as a mascot. A long time ago it was my first guitar pedal. And I like it be a part of my pedal board. Even like so. As the most of guitar players, I always look for a better sound. So I'm ready for your advice and opinions about my pedal board. Or describe your pedal boards in comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel and make rock, not war.